Hey guys, I'm really excited because my order from Hobonichi has arrived. And I'm so excited to show you guys what I've ordered. I'm going to open this off camera and then I'll be back. It's in a big bag. Let's take it out of the bag. I got a large drawer pouch. I was umming and ahhing about the medium and a size one. And then the larger one. And I went for the larger one. I got it in like the champagne colour. It's got a big big pocket at the back and loads of pockets inside so i'm gonna set this up and show you what it looks like but i did pick up some more of these little photo albums i have one already in the back here of my A6, which just slides in and slides out. It's really good quality. And, get that in there. And I was thinking that I could split my stickers down and they fit in there. That's a big pocket. It don't quite fit in the small ones. But yeah, so I bought four of those because they're only a couple of pound each. Oh, I'm gonna have so much fun setting this up, guys. So I'll just open two for now. And I will set this up or set it up with you once I've decided, but I'll be back in a minute. So here she is, guys, all chunked out. I've changed the angle of the camera so that we can see better inside. So just in this little slip pocket here at the back, which is quite big, I've put this um, card from Simply Gilded. It's got a bit of dirt on it, but I think I'll be able to wipe it off and I want to laminate this. And this is in case I want to chuck any kits in there to take with me. But this is more of a functional planning pouch than a decorative one, but it can easily be changed. So I'll give you a 360 of the pouch. It doesn't stand up on its own you can kind of make it like if you play with it but it won't stay like that for long so first off i have my reusable sticker album which i keep a lot of samplers in here and i have a whole section for laura jane style who i pr for lots of her poppets and other stickers that she does and I just keep all of those in there and that fits really nicely in this mesh back pocket and then I've also got the um, little sticker collection album thing I made this is a mix of Laura Jane style the coffee monster co and uh, once more with love I've just section them off into different sections not kept them with the specific shop so that is that and that lives just next to the sticker album and then just slotted in here are these two mini happy scrappy albums this one has just got um foiled scripts that i've made for myself in silver and hollow i have got gold and rose gold but i don't tend to use them as much 
And then in this one, I've just got a pack of cloth and paper mink dot grid sticky notes. And then I just found this card, this memo card, so I just slide it in there so I wouldn't forget where it was. And they live just outside of the mesh pockets. Next in this zip, one thing I will say about the zip in the middle is you, if you've got all the stuff in like I have, you can't really stuff it because it stops the, the uh, it stops it from closing. So what I have in here is my three favourite brush pens, 942, 992 and 979. Let's see if I've got a piece of paper, I can show you them. So this one is 942. It's like a really beige colour. This one's 992, which is like a olive, really light brown. And this is 979. So that middle one there is my favourite. In the zip pouch, I also have some tweezers. Oh, forgot one more. 761, which is a real pale pink. Some tweezers. I have my Klenna 0.5 Energel and some Whiteout. And I also have this little, it's a case from a micro USB card. And I've just put in there some teardrop paper clips if I ever need those. So those live in the center pouch. And what I like to do is kind of make them stack them on top of each other so rather than them being crumbled in a ball at the bottom i like to stack them on top of each other but just by squeezing them a little bit it just helps it close so now we are moving round to the other side i am going to put what can i put there what's going to hold it up that's not going to hold it up. I'll use my headphones. Like so. So in the back, there is two pockets. And in this pocket, I have... It's really hard to get this how I want it to sit. How do I want it to sit? There we go. So we have this pouch and if you've watched any of my other planner pouch videos, then these stickers will be familiar. In the front, I keep these ones that I cut off, vanilla paper co kits. Inside, it, this is um, Simply Gilded icons and then Simply Gilded icons and then Harriet Wright Designs ones. So that is a an icon pouch. And then in the back, I just have this script of things to do. So the next, I have one of the little Hobonichi photo albums. And in here, I've just put like the mixture of stickers, like the anniversary stickers, um, adult in and just some ones that I reach for quite often. See, these are all mixed. And then I've got some poppets at the end because I just like to include them as I'm writing. So that is that pocket. Next up, we have a little A6 Hobonichi notebook. And then I've got another one of those photo albums. And this has got like my foiled icons and some scripts that um, I would use. And these are scripts and icons. And I've just got this little freebie sampler from Pebble & Co. So that's what lives in the back pouches. And then I have my big 
pouch which again if you've watched my videos this isn't new the only thing i've done is slimmed slim lined everything down so everything was big big and full and i've put them into you know smaller wallets these are my minimal icons the mini ones from pebble and co i have some paper k date covers behind and then these are just the larger version of those and then i have some small planner dots on the other side that lives in this pocket along with some blotting paper because all my the inks that i use are quite wet uh, so that is there then we move on to these like smaller pouches so i have the green hobonichi stencil which is by far my favorite and then in these two pockets i just have some little task cards to do inbox and goals and then the next one are more if i have to give someone a message or something so memo and noted so i've just put a couple of each of those in there and then in this pocket i have stuffed in here some translucent sticky notes because i like translucent sticky notes i have some washi cards that i like to put in the bottom there and then some villa beautiful page flags i will swap and change those out because i've got quite a few page flags now uh, then in this pocket i literally have these icons from legally planning so the coffee the insta and the netflix they seem to be what i reach for like on a regular basis so they live in there and then here i have some page flags these fit perfectly in these squares on the monthly in the cousin and then i got these little freebie tabs so i thought i'd put those in there just in case i need to use any tabs Going down, I have these page fags from the Royal Planner. I'm just obsessed with these smaller ones here. And then the next pouch, I've got the Coffee Monster Co. 2021 calendars, which I've laminated and cut out. And those live in the front of my A6. And then I've just stuck in this little cute cute paper clip this monkey so that's everything that fits in here and i think that's quite a lot if you didn't want to put all of this stuff in the a5 fits the a5 hobonichi fits in here perfect with loads of room but as you guys know i like to stuff my pouches and the reason for this pouch is I did a what's in my bag video not long ago, but I've been on the search for a crossbody bag that's big enough and comfortable enough to take my planning supplies places. And I've come across this, let me move that because this is bag's big, this Kipling bag. Some of you might hate it, some of you might love it. I love the material. It's like, a how would i describe this i can't even describe it it's, it's really nice it has loads of pockets for all the things that i need to carry so just slide it in this front pocket is some masks i keep them on their own then in this next pocket here fits in this pouch which is simply gilded which i use for receipts this is my main purse in here, I keep a card holder, which is a Radley one. And then in the middle, I keep my coins and I don't put anything in there really. So they live in this front section. So that's everything away nicely in there. Then in here, in the main compartment, this pouch fits in perfect. Not only does the pouch fit in, the Hobonichi Cousin fits in, and if I'm going hardcore, the A6 fits in, and it's still got room 
for like sunglasses, like a juice bottle. Still got loads of room down this side here. So that's why, because on Amazon, you can, on some of the items, you can add them to, I think it's up to five, add to wardrobe, and they'll send you the five um, products, and you keep what you want and send back what you don't, and then you only pay for what you want. So I, like, picked five in this little side pocket. These side pockets are massive. I just have some sanitizer and some moisturizer. And then on this side, I have, what do I have in here? Oh, this has got my uh, Rene, because I suffer with really bad heartburn. And it's also got my little pill pouch. Yeah, so I ordered five. I kept two. The other one isn't as big as this one. But I thought, you know, lockdown's nearly ending. And we're going to be able to go out. And I just really want to go out and, like, sit in a coffee shop and do some planning. And, you know, what we used to do. I just can't wait for it. So that is what I've got in my Hobonichi drawer pouch, which is a large size. I am going to be getting the other sizes just to try out. Um, and videos will, will definitely be up on those soon as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, then give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.